thesmartlocal.com. Hi everyone, I'm Fauzi and welcome to a brand new episode of One in the Street. Marriage is part and parcel of every society, but what I want to find out is what Singaporeans really think about getting hit. Do you want to get married? Of course! I want to have a family, you see. In November. Oh, so you're engaged to be married. Yes. Yeah, yeah. At what age do you think it's appropriate for someone to get married? 24, 25. 25? 24, 25? 28, 30. 30. Maybe like not above 35 for myself. But the girls seem to think that 25 is a good age and the guys seem to think that 30 is a good age. Oh, I know why, because guys have to go through NS. Don't, don't start thinking about it until you're 25 onwards. <laughs> so what are some of the things you would need to think about before deciding to get married? Oh, is the girl high maintenance? Perhaps. Uh, you need to consider whether the person is going to be loyal or not. Well, firstly, there has to be love because you know if you don't love someone, you're not going to be like together. Family Use consent. Your values, my values yeah. are equally the same. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you don't want a wife beater. I don't want a lady controller. So. <laughs> if our priorities are not the same, meaning mm. if he wants to migrate and I don't want to migrate. Why did you choose to want to get married? My oh. parents wouldn't let us have babies if we are not married. So. <laughs> From an economical standpoint, I want a house. Ah. And then second of all, I'm 33, so it comes to a point where you know I want to do something more with my life and everything. So I look for something more meaningful. Aww. Oh yeah. Is there something that would hinder your decision to get married? Uh, only one thing that we we're not meant to be is that okay. I, I don't feel right. Do you think marriage would then hinder career progression in a way? In a way, it will hinder people with family. It's determined by whether they make a point to, to open up and free up for their partners. Mm. If I'm able to take care of myself, then maybe I'll consider taking care of someone else. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. You know when you get pregnant, the time that you could have spent like, focusing on career, you have to like, take care of your kids. They don't need a man. And I think that's totally fine. Cue the pussycat dolls, I don't need a man. Is there any pros of marriage? <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, what about you? Any pros? Oh, you have someone to love. Um, wedding dress. Say that again. Pretty wedding dress. Okay. <laughs> I have someone to wash my dishes. <laughs> Children, I guess. Children. Okay. I mean, I like kids. I like kids. Yeah, I saw the BTO so. <laughs> <laughs> Cons of marriage. I have to take care of his dirty clothes. Uh, it's not a coincidence, okay? okay. Oh. Too much shopping. <laughs> Too much shopping. <laughs> what, what the Too much commitment. Yeah, I gotta like account for stuff. Right. As I mentioned earlier, the pros is children. Yeah. The cons is like financially children. wise. <laughs> financially wise is also the children. Do you wanna have children? No. Okay. Eleven. No, we agreed on two. A football team, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> we adopt the other nine. I'm not a cow. <laughs> Or cat. I cannot give birth to 11 kids. I'm gonna be like this fat. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, I want twins actually. Uh, I still want a pair. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I wanna have five kids. <laughs> uh, probably two kids. Then it's not important to be married to have kids, right? No. No. You mentioned marriage as closely related to having children. Now, yeah. what do you think about people who have children? But not married. I think many people of our age believe that marriage is just a piece of paper, like less than $50, like just to get a cert, <laughs> right? You know, some things just get out of control when, when you have too much love for that another half of yours. I love how you very, kept it very PG. I just want the big wedding. <laughs> Do you think where, uh, marriages are relevant in today's society if cohabitation is acceptable? Marriage itself, financially wise, you are supporting each other. But right. cohabitance is more on you're still on your own, ah. but you are together. But it's basically the same. You don't get married, you don't enjoy certain privileges. Some people might see it at the end already, it's like you don't have to get married, you're still going to enjoy the union and all of that. To me, it's absolutely cool with it. I think marriage is still relevant. There's a lot of things that you gotta go through, you know, once you get married, like getting to know more about your another half, like all their bad habits. Oh my god. I can't wait to go through that actually. <laughs> Now, any advice for people out there who are watching this and they're thinking about getting married? Take jump. your time, consider. Yeah, then jump. 
I didn't jump. Okay. Hope you guys have a great peaceful marriage. Okay. Just think twice. Huh? <laughs> as long as you guys are happy. So yeah, whatever you want to do. Figure out your feelings for that person and make the choice. Do it only if you're very sure you love the person. That's all. From what she said. <laughs> yes, to agree. He's my boyfriend. I have relationship <laughs> Yes! Please put it there somewhere. Alright, so a lot of people had different opinions about when it is appropriate to get married. For the girls, it was a little bit younger, around 25, and for the guys, a little bit older, around 30. Many of them actually thought that marriage is just a piece of paper, and that cohabitation is very common and okay nowadays. Which is a surprise to me because Singapore is quite a conservative society. So that's it for this episode of Word in the Street. To watch all our other videos, you can click over here. And click below to subscribe to us for all our other videos. Until next time, I'm Fauzi. Bye!